Now that we have recovered our sanity... Though we can't really speak for Pierce. I suppose that means we're ready to move on. We've met up with Dr. Colden, and... Bradley? Question mark? Fake Bradley? Zombie Bradley? Never actually died Bradley? Is Bradley even real? So these are the questions we have as we move forward. And we're... speaking of questions, we're the bittersweet gamers. Why is that a question? That's not a question, that's a declarative statement. I'm we squared. I'm the opinionator. You smarmy little <laughs> laughing... <laughs> right, now that we've got our happy and jokey out of the way... Time for tentacles! Hello, octopus. Yeah, so that's Cthulhu, right? Maybe? What's in its eye? <gasps> Who goes there? That, that's a weird thing to say when you wake up. That not, nightmare Not again. for Bradley. I need a drink. That's Pierce. Now that my sanity has returned, <laughs> though not my memory, ho, ho, ho. whether this is worth it or not, we've decided to be the psychology eloquence, Pierce. So... Bam! Max Psychology! Master of Psychology. I haven't been studying any books since I started the investigation, but shh. Well, he has been, but they've been occult and medical. Touche, touche. So I was thinking, you know how I said it seemed like we missed one? Yeah. I bet if we'd been able to go into the sewers, we would have ran into it. Because if you think about it, the only reason we ran into the abattoir is because we were trying to do the electrical route. We were trying to overload the circuit breakers. That route had nothing to do with using the gas. So depending on the path we choose to solve some of these things, I don't think we would have had to have gone in there to check on Francis. We could have probably just gone up the stairs. That's but very possible. But we chose possible. to check on them, and so it happened. So the only way in order to spare our sanity is, is to, to avoid everything? We have to run away from everything. But facing it in Lovecraft, the main characters face this stuff at the cost of their sanity, but they face it. You know, I bet sanity isn't going to recover, so every trauma we get reduces sanity and makes it that much. Man, this is going to be really fun to replay. Oh, the sanity text see, has changed. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Still stable, but... Who knows where your mind could lead you on the path to insanity. I think just meeting Francis Sanders would... And what happens... What happens if if you have a high enough medicine to do something for him? I mean, I'm sure he can't get out, but does it... Because you remember there was a treatment option that we couldn't do. Yeah. Miss Colden is correct. Well, we gotta hurry up and find him, darn it! They're probably downstairs. Notice how it's daytime and everything looks so different. It doesn't look quite as crumbly. Don't have conversations without me, darn it! How do you feel? Did I sleep long? The day is only starting. It's fine. D yes, you can continue your conversation now that I'm here. Okay, you? <laughs> Did you die? <laughs> How's our fugitive? Dr. Fuller hasn't reported your disappearance to the Force, but that'll come soon. Really? Bradley? Who else would it be? Mr. Pierce. Are you all right? And then it has you that look like jerky. You saw a ghost. He leaned back I, and sat down. There are things I can't explain. Tell us. What happened? Why don't you tell me what happened? <laughs> Darn it! I'm just under. I, I met a Francis Sanders. Do you know him? Of course. He's a patient. Or was. I haven't seen him since Dr. Fuller had him transferred to the basement. He hasn't seen you either. No, Sarah Hawkins. And that's what killed him. Ouch, Billy. Sorry. What? How did he die? You got me! I'm not sure I can explain it. Tell me how Mr. Sanders died. Uh, um... <laughs> <laughs> ah. You know, the thing is, it's possible we could preserve our sanity by dodging that by dodging say somebody like sanders but then we wouldn't know about this you're right so it's like what we get what we get 
we expend in in this Lovecraft game, we expend our sanity for, for knowledge. knowledge. Yes. How very fitting. I didn't see what, but something was there with us. Of what do you speak? Sanders said. I don't know. It was Sarah Hawkins, visitor. He spoke of it like a living being. Sarah Hawkins. Have I missed something here? This makes no sense. I don't see how it can help crack the Hawkins case. You oh really yeah? Think she's involved. How could she have murdered Mr. Sanders? Well, I Francis Sanders mentioned Mrs. Hawkins just before dying. It's no Well, that's co that's complicated. You know Francis Sanders uh, was a well-known yeah. art collector. I guess you can still pay a visit to his wife, Irene Sanders. Oh good. An art collector, you say? That's probably Well, I guess you can't dodge Sanders. If you plan yeah. on having dinner at the Sanders yeah. household, please spare the widow the tale of her late husband's suffering. I don't agree. She deserves the truth. But that truth may be biased. We don't know the bottom of it. Uh, um... I... Uh, so, by the way, your, your husband clawed out his eyes and died while being pulled into another dimension. I'm normally... I'm normally all on board with with the truth, but for something like this, I mean, she's already suffered enough. Yeah, not only has she suffered enough, but why should she suffer from this outside influence? By not getting, if she doesn't know anything, then she's not going to be involved Which more than be she, in danger. More than she already has been. It could put her in danger and just increase her suffering. If she really, really, really pushes, maybe. But for, I think for a plan, it probably would be best to not tell her this stuff. Yeah. Nobody needs to know this stuff anyway. I mean, all she really needs to know is that he's, he's dead. So, about the conversation that we had had earlier, maybe, maybe there's no way to miss Sanders. That, that's Francis Sanders. That's entirely possible. But, you know, did we have to go in that one room where we saw all the corpses? And then our sanity would have been higher. Well, if we weren't trying to do the electrical thing and just focused on the gas, because there wasn't any, there wasn't like a wheel in there or anything. Yeah, so it, it's like I think that's a really interesting aspect of the game design. I'm sure that there's a there's an ending for having a very high sanity, say. Most likely, yeah. Uh, and and moving moving back to this, it isn't a coincidence that like we were talking about before the episode that the painting that Hawkins that Sarah Hawkins sent to Francis Sanders was the Shambler. Uh-huh. And that's what he was killed by. But, I mean, I wouldn't have known it. You knew it was the Shambler, though, because you know Lovecraft. Yeah, I recognize the name and kind of its M.O. But what were you about to say? In Lovecraft, art and literature is often used to sort of connect this world and the other. Mm-hmm. And that's clearly a big theme of this game. You're trying to solve the murder of an artist, and we're having to deal with the wife of an art dealer and we're using after her paintings with, as clues. And uh, there's even a painting from her of Edward Pierce. Mm -hmm. And now we're about to visit the wife of an art dealer that we saw suffer. Who and, received a painting. Yeah, so art is definitely a major deal in the game. And it's also a common horror trope for an of, a, of an entity, if you know what it looks like or know about it, it hunts you down. That's true. That is all the better reason to not say anything and, to Irene Sanders. And really not go to that place, because what if the painting's there? What if the painting's there? You're well, right. guess where we're going. Without a plausible explanation for what I saw, let's not jump to conclusions. We can't let her become victim That seems wise indeed. Yeah. Very well. I'll go to see Francis's widow. Perhaps I'll find a link between her husband's death and Sarah Hawkins. Don't end up in the hospital this time. I'll make it my duty. I'll do my best. It's too bad that ended the whole conversation, though. I know. Let us go now and learn the truth about what's happening on this island. The other night's events are still confused in my head. Yeah. Your head! What happened to you, man? I mean... I'll go investigate as soon as I find a book about the Shambler and find some way to find it. <laughs> well, now it's time to clear out all these dang exclamation marks so they don't build up again. Yeah, don't forget all the stuff he injected into you. Right. What that gas, which may be derived from that oil. The gas has to be derived from the oil, or at least from, from the miraculous cat. Because he was trying to... It looked like he was trying to give people regenerative capabilities. I mean, that's why there were all the dang arms and legs everywhere! Yeah! 
and he was talking about how he could uh, restore Sanders' eyes. Yeah, he's the, and he was the third man in the occult book club. Uh huh. <laughs> That's what you said the one time, and it's just it really funny, and I like it. <laughs> but uh, Fitzroy or Fitzroy's father, but let's be serious, it's Fitzroy. Uh huh. Especially, especially since we know about the regenerative stuff now, and we know that he was missing a leg. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It was Fitzroy Fuller. And Charles. And Charles Hawkins. Hawkins. Uh huh. And Charles Hawkins. Who has seen better days. Appears to be becoming Cthulhu. Well, you know, that's what happens when you uh, have dealings with the other. Uh, you become them? You become tainted by it. Well, tainted is different than being, but. You gotta try to open the door, David. I haven't played in a few hours. Give me a break. Oh, man, just look at those. Look at those sculptures. Oh, clearly he was a collector of, uh, art. Killing her with fire? Or, look, if she died in an accidental fire, did this fire kill them then? Why didn't the fire burn the painting? And the fire just happened to not leave the room. And the fire killed somebody who had been eating miraculous catch meat, killed these two people? And either the fire... And buried under Charles's tomb? Possibly nothing. Okay, anyway, enough of that. <laughs> Again, did the fire actually kill anybody? Was the fire an accident? It's It seems like it based on his investigation, but we can't really trust what he thinks happened. Because he's, he's kind of gathering information as he goes along like we are. It's, it's still just speculation based on information we don't quite, don't quite have. Now let's go to Happy Fun Museum. What can I do for you, sir? Oh, my God. Mr. Sanders, I'm a private detective. We must talk about your husband and his ties to Sarah Hawkins. Can I come in? You may. Oh, this is going to be really miserable. However, before we go any further, please know that my husband died yesterday. She's that doing remarkably well. Oh! Well, well. Look who's here. Oh, uh, look what you dragged in, huh? Huh? Okay. Oh. You know each other. We met briefly. Time enough to iron out a few matters. You kicked me in the, the garage. The main thing is that we understood one another. The brave detective has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. Oh, I'm I so bump sorry. I into her every time I'm investigating someone's death. Yes, it's well so said! It's a small island, detective. My island. It's better that it's you bumping into me. Um. You're investigating Francis' death. Why? Who hired you? I spoke to Francis before he died. His story suggests a link to a case I'm working on. Well, since this business has got nothing to do with me, I'll be in your husband's office, Irene. We'll carry on later. Very well, Miss Baker. Probably uses, uh... This way, Mr. Pierce. And do make yourself comfortable. It would seem that you have much to tell me. It could be that they use art shipments as a way to smuggle in the booze. Very possibly. I mean, it does... Uh, look. May I inquire as to when you had the opportunity to talk to my husband? It's also true. There is no way that the power of the state extends out this far. Nobody <laughs> seems to care about this forgotten old island. Yeah. <laughs> Except for the curiously wealthy people that live there. Strange how that works, huh? Yesterday, I met him at the hospital. He spoke to me about Sarah Hawkins. Oh, of course he spoke to you about her. That's all he talked yeah, about? Yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. Sarah Hawkins and her paintings. Please forgive my tone. The fact is that I have not been allowed to see him since he was interned. You, on the other hand, a perfect stranger. We're able to see him and even well, talk you are, with him the day need, he died. Do not be How jealous of this. <laughs> Were you present when he had this attack? Yes. What happened? He had a heart attack. He died screaming right before my... Yes, Master Psychology. What happened to your husband Ooh. is terrible, Mrs. Sanders. But from what I saw, it was inevitable. That's one way to put it. The I man guess. I met yeah. yesterday had lost his reason. He suffers no longer, if you would allow me such a platitude. 
Of course. Huh. Thank you for your kind words. Nobody in that hospital would have deigned to speak to me. That what, However, what we did it will require was to be more kind than to that her. to yeah. soothe my mind. I need to understand. How, how could this happen? In a reputed institute? And, and right before your eyes. It's, did you not do anything to help him? Uh, it's better that you don't know. Ah, so before... It was just psychology is master, so bam, here we go. But with this, it's only... It's a test. It's a test. May not make it, too. Uh, I bl mm. So it's like, do we roll to test it, or do we just say it was Fuller? Saying, but I had nothing to do with it, sounds like... That, sounds that's kind true. of defensive. Like, I, it wasn't me. Oh. That's... <sighs> it's just that that's using a skill that we're building. That's true, that's true. She was the one who admitted him, but that also wasn't really her fault. He was going crazy. Screw it! Test eloquence! Well... Okay. Mrs. Sanders, I understand your grief, and I extend my deepest condolences to you. But I had nothing to do with the death of your husband. I've just arrived on Darkwater. I'm investigating the death and all of, of that the is Hawkins true. family. The death of the Hawkins family? You mean it was not an accident? This accursed island knows only tragedy after tragedy. Oh, yeah? You, too, would be advised to flee it like the plague. Why don't you tell oh, me some of these other tragedies? Mr. Pierce. You know what's really interesting, and I hate just pausing like this, but... but we have to. I Unlike have... the other games we play, we don't have that much control over the text. Yeah, I just need to get this out. It is entirely possible that by soothing her, not just with, like, with the psychology, but also it's like, look, it, it really was not me, and that is the truth, which is what we just did... That that actually makes her not distrust you. Like yeah. Now she she likes Pierce. Yeah, yeah. And that's interesting because we we act like I I like her. Mm -hmm. I like her now. Um, it's like you you see that she's a woman in pain, and it's like she's suspicious of stuff, but she's not unreasonable. It's like I I, I just like her. But it's possible that I wouldn't like her if we weren't able to connect with her like that, and that may be a result of how we've built the character so yeah. far. And that's cool. That's really Darn awesome. it! I like things that I like, and I like to talk about it, okay? I would be grateful if you could tell me what you expect of me, and then leave. I, uh, what about the Shambler? Uh, I'm absolutely gonna ask that! Did your husband talk to you about Sarah Hawkins' visitor? A Shambler, to use his precise terms. Well, you can't imagine that's all he talked about. It's exhibited at the center of the gallery. No better place for the painting that endowed him with the privilege of such a shameful and miserable end to his life. Truer words were oh, never spoken. The Shambler Sanders. is a painting by Sarah Hawkins. I guess in case we hadn't Who found else the ledger. to paint such horrors? Take a look for yourself, if you feel so inclined. No, I think we should just it burn my the art house down. This stage. I suppose I have nothing to lose. Then you have paid no heed. For my part, I refuse to set foot in that gallery again. Good choice. But if you are so eager to see it, I would urge you to make the most of your visit. Because I count on ridding myself of that thing as soon as I can. Don't sell it, though. Thank no. you, Mrs. Sanders. I won't be long. I, did, I, I wish I could have asked about Cat. I maybe should have. That, that just promotes replay. Yeah, you're right. Multiple playthroughs. Well, okay, so this says, what I don't understand is this mix of sadness and insensitivity. It looks like she had given up on her husband long before his horrid death. Well, he was obsessed with another woman. He was going crazy and had been locked away from her. Yeah. The man she married... Wasn't there anymore. ...had died some time ago. But she was still sad about it. I, yeah, rather, I think it's admirable that she was able to keep the level of attachment that she did. Did she really care for him, after all? Wow! The day the Shambler came into the Sanders' lives. Huh. I guess... Man, we keep doing that. We keep going right to the right answer. I guess I, guess I need to go back to my old habit that I've always used uh -huh. of beating around the bush. <laughs> Huh. Oh, are we going to play Moonlight Sonata?
I feel like I should start singing. <laughs> some sort of like operatic number? Well, no, that that was gonna be some calm, reassuring piece. Mm. Okay. Let's take care of this. Mr. Pierce, why are you staring off at this face? Just doing my job, Mrs. Sanders. Okay, there we go. Frances Sanders and Sarah Hawkins were close. I wish I would have asked. Friends, even? I mean, that's why she was so frustrated, because her husband was obsessed with her friend. Yeah. I mean, it, it makes sense to a degree. Art dealer, artist, but... A house of artists. Ah, she's the musician. A house of artists. There was a piano in the Hawkins estate that had never been, that wasn't used. Yeah, that's right. Sanders' accession register. He wrote beside the Shambler, finally. What did Sarah Hawkins fear so much that she didn't want to sell the painting? Uh, I guess what was in it coming out and killing someone? Which is he what finally happened. won. Was Sanders aware of his imminent doom? It's like his obsession led to his downfall. Just a typical Lovecraftian... Result? Mm-hmm. She despises Sarah Hawkins, but it's the painting she truly hates. Why? Well, we, we, come on. <laughs> come now. He didn't want Sanders to have the painting. She must have felt devastated. Like, an element of many Lovecraft stories is that people can tell when something isn't right. When it's, there's just a sense of wrongness about right. things. So any sane person uh, who saw that painting would be like, nope, I want nothing to do with that. Well, just Sarah Sanders paintings in general. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Ah! Yeah. And that's when he gouged him out, huh? I need to see it. No, you oh. don't! You really don't, man! <laughs> Excuse me, Irene, I'm just gonna go explore your house. Let's Bye. see what this cylinder has to say once it's inserted in a phonograph. Oh. An audio recording that Francis Sanders left for his wife, Irene. Well, there was a phonograph right behind you as you walked past. Irene, I made a mistake. I fear that it might be too late for me. Nobody should enter, except to burn everything. I never had the courage. Pay somebody to do it. Everything, it's huh? inside my head. Mm -hmm. I see him behind my eyelids. Each time I shut my eyes. I'm volunteering. I can't take any more. I can't hold him back. Forgive me. That accursed gallery. Those accursed paintings. That accursed Sarah. And for her part in this, Irene has nothing really to do with any of it. She doesn't have anything. She just got be, dragged into this. She has nothing to be blamed for, but she is the one ultimately who suffered the most. Man, it's like we're playing Silent Hill, all these doors that don't open. <laughs> At least they're not just jammed inexplicably. Who locks all the doors in their own house, though? I... I... I guess it got me there. Let's look at some of the paintings that were on the walls. Oh. Um, did you see that? No. Look away from it and look back at it. Okay. Okay. There, there was something weird about that painting just a second ago. Then you looked at it and it slowly turned back to normal. 
Are you sure you're not just just looking into things too much, man? I could have sworn there was a swirl of red in that painting. I. Mm. Is everything okay, Billy? I don't know. Maybe it was just an optical illusion. That's a painting of his wife. That's not a Sanders painting, though. That's correct. It is far too benign. Well, it doesn't have her signature. Oh, also that. That that one is. <laughs> the one that I saw that I thought I saw moving. Yeah. Okay. I wonder. I wonder if you could go into the sewers. Probably. We just didn't have a high enough strength. Because you'd end up you'd end up in the Hawkins warehouse regardless and that's how you'd meet Bradley and get mm -hmm. to move on to the Hawkins estate yeah and so that means maybe we might not have met Kat and in that part oh you know each other when when Irene Sanders said that yeah fascinating cause I swear I oh. say fascinating every five minutes or more you do Ooh, the cold. strange Amerindian pendant or whatever I could use one of those no no, no Pierce please were they prescribed to Francis or Irene? Certainly interesting that, uh... Well, I mean, it's not that surprising when you take the context of the dreamer and everything. Strange. Yeah. For months, Sarah Hawkins refused to part with her painting. To finally give it away for nothing. Why did she give it to him then? Was it... Maybe it was because she failed to revoke? No, no, no. I mean, she knew that that was just a, a death sentence for her friend slash friends. Y yeah! Ah, maybe she could only keep it for so long before it threatened her family and then she had to get rid of it. But why wouldn't she just destroy it? I mean, maybe she just was resigned to everything. Like her, she just, her willpower gave out? Another volume of the Reverend's Wife's Diary. Oh, we missed the first one. Because I remember we've gotten volume two. Yeah. Oh, wow. I, I managed to force it open. You didn't hear anything. Did not expect that. For a moment, I thought that was on the chair, and I'm like, what are you going to do with the chair? The Whale and the Cod. A brief oh. history of dark water. For a moment, I thought that said the Whale and the God, which also would have fit. But this is all that, all that they have. They fish for cod, for... North Atlantic cod, and, and they wailed. <laughs> you know, you really got to give uh, Pierce credit for being able to pick up a medical book and just skim through it for a few moments and then be able to pick so much out of it. He's a pretty impressive guy. Damon, as a veteran of Lovecraft, don't read the book. Nothing good can come from reading the book. You are falling into their trap, Damon. Curiosity killed the everything. Remember, Damon. But this is a Lovecraft game. I have to read the book. Damn it! When you phrase it like that, how can I say no? But I don't... I mean... Oh, no, 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 no. You read the book now, buddy. But it'll be really bad! That's the standing we're gonna have to get the first time, I suppose. But nothing good is gonna happen except getting another point of a cult. Or, this could be a trap. It might actually be a regular book, but it's just like, hey, you probably got this game because you know Lovecraft. Do you want to read the book? You like how I switched my position so quickly? <laughs> you blow in the wind. Forget it! Read the book! Ah, I'm sorry, world! This will affect your destiny. Oh, good. It is a kind of encyclopedia of monstrous and unknown creatures. Good! That may have really helped. Because we're going... Because we're going to have to be dealing with a monstrous and unknown creature. Oh! Well, uh, we have professional occultism now. And it gave us... Well, you know... I gave us a, a mental trauma. Uh, <laughs> the bestiary makes an inventory of numerous creatures from the occult world or parallel dimensions. The very nature of its knowledge makes it an unholy book. And we lost some more sanity. Not that much. Not that much. 
but uh, a little. I wonder if there are parts where it does give us. Probably not. Yep. Mm hmm. Where the rarity of food sources keeps it in a state of permanent starvation. Oh, like the keto diet. <laughs> You just have to lay eyes upon it for its being to anchor itself in your dimension to allow it to rip you open with its claws. And that's... that's what sealed, Francis. Because you normally can't see them because they exist outside our dimension. What does the excerpt say? Taken from the book we just read! If we didn't have this, this is the book to read about the dimensional sealer! Yes! I called it earlier in the episode! And it happened in the same episode. It just cost us some of our sanity. This way, this way we can actually fight it, though. Yeah. Or something. Or something! Hello, cat. My brain hurts. Let's see if I can make your brain hurt, too. That's twice you've stepped on my toes, Detective. Try not to make a habit of it. do anything this time! I've got a lot of bad habits. Some can be more fatal than others. Are you threatening me again? What have you come me. looking for in this gallery? Or flirting with me, yeah. <laughs> I'm here to fight an interdimensional monster. What are you here for? You know, I'm just totally gonna lie to her. I don't really care about her. Fair point. I nope. have a well-off client in Boston who heard about the death of Francis Sanders and wanted me to size up his estate before making an offer to his widow. Nice story. Bad <laughs> lie. Learn how to do. She detective. probably is going to be hard to But as long her. as you keep out of my way, you're free to carry on with your visit. And you? What brings you to the Sanders home? I'm here on business. Irene asked me to liquidate all these paintings. She doesn't intend to hang around here okay. for long. Why you? Believe it or not, there aren't many collectors on Darkwater. It needs someone with a network, and a means of transport to the mainland. A choice that comes down to Fitzroy and me. And I'm far more pleasant. No! <laughs> Here's what I will say, though. The first time we really talked to her, uh... I told her the truth, and she lied to me. Uh-huh. And, and mocked me for being open. Yeah. This time, I tried to lie to her, and then she was open with me, and we mocked her. <laughs> I don't understand what that says about us. Not but... now, sweetheart. I'd like to read this without some snoop looking over my oh, shoulder. Oh, like you were looking over my shoulder when I read the Madness book? Should really just be strolling on in, though? Uh, I think this is the gallery. Yeah, I know, that's what I meant! I don't think we should. Was that a hiding spot? Look behind you. To your right. Is, is that a freaking hiding spot? Yep. Yeah, I'm getting out of that. Since I don't understand claustrophobia, seeing claustrophobia is really unnerving. Oh my god! Uh, is it drooling? I think that's a tongue. Another one of those. And it's and it's a Sarah Hawkins. It's kind of messed up that this insignia is so evident. Hmm. Oh yeah. Maybe Looks we like should a telescope, a knife, some coins. Maybe we should take that knife. I just <sighs> These things are too weird to not be armed. These artifacts date from pre-Columbian times. I didn't know that you were such an archaeologist. Well, yeah, don't you remember all the books he has on archaeology? And he's actually quite good at the book learnings. That's true. I had forgotten that. You just pointed out how good he is at reading books and gaining knowledge from them. No, no, I meant the whole archaeo books of archaeology thing. Yeah, hey, guys. I wonder why there aren't any visitors in this museum. Because it's in somebody's house! That, well, okay, that's a fair point. I was more talking about the aura of... The public entrance to the gallery. How do we do it? How do we do this? Well, why is it that what we talk about immediately comes up? <laughs> like... I mean, it's, it's nighttime is why there's no one here. But well, I was going to say because no one want, would want to come here and look at this stuff. Well, yeah, I suspect... 
uh, the public would really not want to come and see mad things like this. And besides, didn't she say that she locked it up and wasn't going to let anybody in? Well, sure, if you want to be more sensical about everything. That... Oh! That's just comical is what that is. <laughs> Eh, a bunch of floating faces with cracked eye closes floating around the mad, mad, yep. Nope. <laughs> nope, nobody, nope, nope. Oh, hey, finally. What's, what's it doing here? Lamp oil. Uh, well, I mean. Hmm. 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 Is it just me, or does it seem like there's always some sort of knife in each case? So, this is a sculpture with a painting encased inside. That is kind of what it looks like, isn't it? That's a really interesting piece of art. Why was he so interested in old weapons? Is he gonna shoot a laser if I try to walk between them? <laughs> That's how old we are! I'm sorry! <laughs> I'm not sorry. Here we go. The man transforms the entire wing of his manor into an art gallery. Plus, he really had a thing for sphinxes. There's that world-shattering thing again. Do you like how we're actually looking at all the art in the art gallery? It would be a missed opportunity if... if we didn't. Oh, how... classic. Ah, uh, here we have a baby trying to suplex a deer, or duck. The, the, <laughs> the, the, <laughs> <laughs> well, the problem is, is, is that the, the domestic duck here has been impaled on a rock. Oh. Yeah. Right? Well, there's two legs. There's no, the yeah, duck's it looks like legs. it's totally been impaled. What a weird thing to make a sculpture of. Well, don't go there! That's what we're looking for! There's uh. Boy Strangles Impaled Duck. That get... is so much different than the other one. Oh, God. I, I, this is just tame. You get worse than this and, like, Xeno Gears or something. <laughs> And there's a bear mauling something else, and it also has blood on it. Is it Good. that bear melting, or is it just made of eyes? I think it's made out of cast iron. And it's just got that kind of sheen to it. It's killing a seal. What, what's up with, with all this, this art of slaughtering marine life? Well, that stuff didn't come from Sarah uh, Hawkins. And now for nothing bad to happen whatsoever. Yep. To the surprise of absolutely no one. Maybe the impaled duck is surprised. I think you'd be more surprised he was impaled. Yeah, that's that's no good. Uh, okay, well we can't fight it. <laughs> Don't we have to? Or now get that, away from it, or something! Well, I mean, now that Pierce has seen it, can he get away? This is what killed... This is what killed Francis Sanders! You're right! Fortunately, it has no nose, because it... Or eyes, because its face is just a mouth. You can't trust these, this thing's senses to operate anything like ours. You're these right. These things follow different rules. What the hell was that? I'll tell you what that was. That was a, I'm spending my six character points. <clears throat> so I won't fail another eloquence test. <laughs> oh, good. Where? I'm going to guess that this thing is far more competent than a bunch of asylums. <laughs> oh, ah! oh, you made a mistake! One! I 
couldn't help it. I heard the noises everywhere. <laughs> there were the noises, and I thought they were coming from behind me, and then I thought they were coming from the side of me. Well, they kind of were. Okay. Okay. So the goal is to get out, right? I assume so. Ooh. Only there is an... If only there is an easier way to see. I can't even touch it. Yeah, we know how to hide in the closet. Hey, there are daggers everywhere. And he did mention why is there so many weapons? Maybe it's weak to one of these things. I'm loop de looping around the stinking art. I don't have time to look for a god dang dagger. I don't have time to look for dagger. I can't see it. I think it's wandered off. I don't know. Good lord! No, no it's right the over side. there! Okay, I think it's in the main room. I think it's in the main room. Okay. Give me that damn thing! Damn. Did it hear? Maybe I can use this dagger. How do I attack? Uh, R2? Oh, come at me! Come at me, Cloud Shoes! Are, are you guarding? Huh. Ah! <laughs> ah! That's, that's not how you use a dagger! <laughs> Maybe you have to sneak up on it. Maybe you should just whip out the lantern anyway. Maybe the lantern will Damn. stun it or something? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I can use this dagger. Dude. I'm sure I can sneak up on it. We're just trying to figure out how this thing is behaving. Yeah, yeah. Once you figure out its behavior, then it function on a. Okay, so he's not really running from the light. I mean, we haven't really had to use the lantern for much. Maybe if you jump in the closet, it won't see you climb in the closet. It will grab me from the closet. <laughs> I sure hope that's the right one. Yeah, I know. That might be an issue. Oh, fine! No! No one's in here! Uh, I told you that was what was gonna happen! Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure I can sneak up on it. Oh, okay. No, okay, really, is there something that we're missing here? Because that time I did sneak up on it. Yeah, and it didn't give a prompt or anything. I actually do like how we have no gosh. idea what to do. But yeah, it we is... gotta figure it out. Yeah. Alright, maybe, maybe we're approaching this wrong. Maybe we need to attack the painting. Hey, that's a good point. Damn. Yeah. Did it Get hear it? that? Get Maybe the... I can use this dagger. That is it sort of anchor here. All right. <laughs> now, can you sneak up on a painting? The true test of your abilities. <sighs> this thing can see you really well. <laughs> Especially for not having any eyes. Yeah, take that! Damn it. Okay, so we gotta find the right dagger. While avoiding it. I, I didn't know where it was. Okay, buddy. Everything's fine. There's nothing. Oh, no, he can get <laughs> Nope, not that one. Damn it. Where? Ah! 
You just can't tell where it is! All I can do is just run in circles! Well, I mean, if that's what works. Okay, I bet it's not this Cthuloid dagger. <laughs> Do you like how I kind of don't even care anymore? I mean, you can outrun it, it's fine. Oh, no, 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 what? Now it's just a marathon. I don't know what's happening. It's just a marathon! Dang it! I think I saw something on the ground behind the painting. Something that looked out of place. What the hell was that? You see it? My gosh, That's... is it really that simple? That thing. Is this dagger part of Oh my god! Or was he seeking to acquire it? Okay, so it's that one. Two intertwined... It's, look, it's a two tentacle dagger with the two spines on either end. Not that one? Ah, crud. Oh, why'd the music build up? I think the music's just fucking with us. Okay, okay. There That's it! it. This might be able to lift the curse Woo. on the baby. Dang it! Darn it! Well, now we know where it is! What the hell was that? That's why it pays to look everywhere, kids. Is this dagger yeah. part of Got that, I got that. <laughs> uh, it's to your left, left one more. It should be that one right over there. There we are. Run, 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 make it, make it, make it, make it, make it, take that! Victoria! I severed your leg, son! It only took me 82 tries! <laughs> oh, oh, oh no! Jeez. Oh. And so that means... What's the matter with you? What did that even mean? He's just getting more and more corrupted. You sure you won't be needing that hand? You're losing it, detective. At this rate, you're right. The bottle will get you before I do. You didn't see anything. What? I saw you within an inch of putting a dagger through your forearm. Did I miss something more interesting? No, and more is the better for you that you did not. Sanders was right. This painting is cursed. What are you talking about? I was attacked by a creature. I pushed it back. Thanks, professional occultism. <laughs> I think so, too. Wait, wait what? You think so, too? You knew about this? You knew. You knew about the beast. What are you talking about? You think yourself lucky that I saved your hand, even if it was to save my goods. Y you can't you sell that painting to somebody else. Don't flatter yourself, sweetheart. I'm talking about the contents of this gallery. And by the way, where do you think you're going with that dagger? It saved my life. It's an extraordinary dagger. You should talk to Algernon Drake. He's an antique dealer here on Darkwater. 
He'll tell you all about it. You're so gonna let me keep it? I That's what I was thinking. Ledgers. It was him who sold it to Sanders. I wonder if uh, Mr. Drake's that gentleman with the marks on his arms we saw mumbling to himself in the bar. Ah, the person who clearly knew a lot about the occult. Uh-huh. It's not your style to give me free information like that. Take it as payment for being my canary. A simple You used you us to be so of it! I still got things to settle with Irene. Yeah, in front of the one that her husband had commissioned of her. Okay, my goodness! <gasps> oh, because its image is what allowed it to come after us. So by damaging the image, that reversed it. Or something like that. Or something. Man, I can't believe that she just used Peter. I can! <laughs> <sighs> what a wonderful woman. Well, I think after that... We need a break. <laughs> and a drink. <laughs> I could use a nice stiff glass of uh, water. Oh. <sighs> you teetotaler. <laughs> you know what they say, Damon. Hindsight is an eldritch abomination shambling across dimensions to rip your face off. Who says that? Who? Who says that? Me, apparently.